All right, folks. Uh, well, we gave it a shot with groups yesterday, and some people did awesome, and and some of us kind of struggled a little bit with our group, uh, trying to stay focused and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to go through these problems. I'd like you to get to a problem that you need some help on, and then put the video on pause, um, and then try the problem. And then if you get stuck, turn the video back on and watch the solution. All right. So I know we had a group present number 25. I'll just do it again though. This is the short leg across from the 30 degree angle, right? Short leg. And to get from the short leg to the hypotenuse, you double the short leg. So to go the other way, we've got to divide by two. So when I divide 40 by two, I get 20 short legs, 20 over there. Now I loved what I saw in, in six periods. Somebody took this triangle right here and said, you know what we know is the short leg. The short leg is 1.5 and to get from the, sh dang it. I said the wrong word, the long leg. We know the long leg to get from the short leg to the long leg. You multiply by the square root of three. So to go the other way, we got to divide by the square root of three. So this short leg over here is 1.5 divided by the square root of three. All right. So <clears throat> then they said, well, look, I'm going uh, to need the hypotenuse because I need to get to this triangle right over here. So I'm going to double that amount and I'm going to put down over here for this leg right here. I'm going to put down three over the square root of three. OK, because when I double the 1.5, I get three over here now. You see this little red triangle right here? Let me switch to a different color. And I'm going to take this red triangle right here. And this is what they actually did. They, they took it and they moved it out of the figure. And they rotated it. And they sat it down kind of like the same orientation as the green triangle. And they said, well, look what we have. We have this side right here is uh, 3 over the square root of 3. And, and that right there is on the wrong side. I, I'm doing their method here and I put it in the wrong place. So this stuff right here belongs on, let's see, this side right down here, right? Because it got rotated down flat, right? So three over square root of three really belongs right down here. All right. So again, we got the long leg uh, because we've got 30 degree angles in here, 30, 60, 90 degrees, right? So here are 30 degree angles right there. And so this little 30 degree angle, oops, this little 30 degree angle, oh, doggone it. Oh, yeah, yeah. This little 30, oh, no. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can undo all that. Uh, there's a little 30 degree angle right there. And that's that 30 degree angle right there. So this has got, we got to do the same thing. We got to get back to the uh, short leg. So if I take three over square root three and I divide it by the square root of three, that's the same thing as three over square root three times one over square root three. You take the reciprocal of what you're dividing by and you multiply it. You change this into a multiplication problem instead of a division problem. So we multiply by the reciprocal and we end up with three over three, which is kind of nice because that's equal to one. So this part right out here is equal to one. And uh, so to get from the short leg to the hypotenuse, you double it. So that's too long. OK, let me see if I can change colors again. Now we are in this triangle right here. That blue part that I just put down is too long, right? Now I realize when I grab that blue triangle, because I made like two little marks on it, there's going to be a piece that stayed there. That's okay. All right. So we take this guy, we rotate it around, and we sit it the same way this one was. But our, our two length, let's see if I can not mess this up this time. So this part right here we said is too long, right? So that part right there is too long and that got rotated down to this part. So that's too long right there. So to go from the long leg to the short leg, remember the 30 degree angles are right there. So we get two over the square root of three to get from the short leg to the hypotenuse. You've got to double it. So this side is four over square root three. All right. So our final answer is four over square root three for problem 26. And the way they did it is they converted them to decimals. So when they took 1.5 and they divided by the square root of three, they just put a decimal out here. And then doubling that decimal was just a little bit easier. And then dividing by the square root of three. So they're doing kind of everything on Desmos, you know. And, and I said to them that if you're doing everything on Desmos, let me, let me pull this up here real quick. I said it would be best to leave it, you know, on the calculator. So like when you go and you want to... Um, 
say do 1.5 divided by square root of 3, you go 1.5 divided by, and then SQRT is the square root 3, right? You got 0.866, whatever. So that's this part right here, right? So now if I'm going to double that, I could go like this. I could just go times 2. Oops, oops, oops. I got to go 2 times, 2 times. And now I've got 1.73 something. So this side right over here is 1.73 something or other, right? So we're, we're just going to kind of inch our way over there. Let's see, um, to go from here to there, I got to divide by the square root of three. So, so I could just, you know, like kind of copy this answer right here, control C. I could put it down here. I'm going to hit uh, divide by first. So I got a fraction, control V, and then I'm going to hit square root, R, you know, SQRT three. Remember how we divided by the square root of three to get over to here? See how that size one right there? Now we double that. Well, I, I don't really need a calculator for that. So this part over here is two. Right, so now I'm going to go, let's see, 2 divided by the square root of 3. So 2 divided by SQRT 3. Now I got the, the this, uh, let's see, what, what side do I have now? Uh, I've got this side right over here, and then I've got to double that amount right there. So I take uh, that amount times 2. So 2 times, and 2.309 should be what 4 over square root of 3 is equal to. So 4 divided by square root 3. Look at that. They're both equal to each other. So they just <clears throat> kind of ratcheted their way up using decimals. And um, I kind of like that approach. All right. But but I, I wouldn't round until you're totally done doing the problem. So uh, you get uh, 2.3 over here, 2.3, and put a dot over the equal sign because it's an approximation, right? All right. Let's see. 27. Uh, an award certificate is in the shape of an equilateral triangle. So we would make an equilateral triangle. Hopefully this is my equilateral triangle. Yeah, no, it's not. It's an isosceles triangle. Let's see if I can just make it work here. Uh, it's pretty close. All right. So pretend like that's an equilateral triangle. And then it says that one side is 12 long, right? I think it says uh, equilateral triangle size 12. So we put 12, you know, on the sides. And then it says that... Uh, the box that we want to put it into or the frame is 12 by 10. So the 12, you know, that's definitely going to fit this dimension right here, 12, but the frame only goes 10 high. So our question is, is it 10 to the top of the triangle there is the height 10. So I'm going to put a little height right in here. And you know that when you have an equilateral triangle and you split it in half, you've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is 60. This is 30, okay, to get from the hypotenuse to the short leg, we take half. Well, that kind of makes sense because, look, we're cutting the 12 in half. To go from the short leg to the long leg, we multiply by the square root of 3. So the <clears throat> height over here, or this, this dimension right here, cannot be more than 6 square root of 3, okay? So we go back over to Desmos, and we say, what is 6 square root of 3? 6 SQRT 3. It's a 10 point. Four, so this is about 10.4. Wait a minute. It said that the, the frame is only 10 tall. So this is too big, right? 10.4 is bigger than 10. So not going to fit. Not going to fit. All right. Number 28. We've got a box of chocolates. It's a hexagon. Hexagon means that uh, a regular hexagon means that all the sides are equal, all the interior angles are equal, and it would mean that we'd have a 120 degree interior angle, 120 degrees right there. How did I get that? Well, uh, we know that every exterior angle, maybe that's more important what the exterior angle is, is uh, adding up to be 360. So if I had six of them that are all equal to each other, uh, the exterior angle is 60 degrees right out here. So we got 60 degrees, then we'd have a 30 degree angle right here, right? And we're given the hypotenuse. In number 28, it, I forgot to put this down, it says the, the side lengths are three, okay? So let me put a three, like on there, on here, right? These are all three long. So if the hypotenuse is three, well, the short leg is half of that. So this part right in here, let me see if I can zoom in here for a second. This part right here is 1.5, okay, 1.5. Then you multiply by the square root of 3 to get over to the long leg, right? So this is 1.5 square root of 3. So we have 1.5 over here, and we got 1.5 square root of 3 down here. 
So this total dimension is three square root of three because you got one and a half and one and a half. That makes a total of three of them. Up here, we got one and a half, three, which makes four and a half, and another one and a half would make six. So this dimension, I'll write it down here so it doesn't run in up there, is six. And so there are our dimensions. They wanted them to know what the dimensions of the box are. Three square root of three by six. All right. Number 29, I'm going to go down to number uh, 30, I believe, here, and then pause. I might, I might do this in a couple different videos. In fact, let's pause right there, and then you can pick it up on the next video.